In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this moving illustration from idea to finished piece in Adobe Fresco. I draw weird stuff, and while I was brainstorming ideas for this project, the phrase, it's okay to be weird, popped into my head, and I thought, that's perfect for this. So I start with a super rough sketch, just building around the lettering. I'll start with weird, because that's the focal point, and just kind of figure out some letter forms that I want for this, and then add in the rest of the words to sort of build around that and highlight the, the focal point of the illustration. Once I have the lettering composition sorted out for the most part, I'll draw in a loose shape around the border to sort of dictate what I want the overall shape of the composition to be. And then I start adding in weird doodles to fill in the space and add to the overall weird vibes. I try to do this part quickly without overthinking it too much. Once I'm satisfied with this rough layout, I do a slightly tighter sketch over it on a new layer. Basically, I'm just trying to turn these scribbles into actual things and refine the shape a little bit. Next, I do my final line work. I'm going to keep all the elements I plan to animate on separate layers to make things easier when I start to make things move. I'm also going to draw the full shapes for things that are partially hidden so there's no gaps when they move. I want to keep the color for weird on its own layer for a motion technique that I'm going to show you later. To do this, I'm going to set the weird lettering line work as a reference layer and then make a new layer below that. And this way we can fill in our color on this layer and it'll reference the line work on the layer above. Because I plan to morph OK into fun, I'm going to tap on the motion button in the bottom corner and add a new frame to draw fun on so that they're together in the sequence. And then we can worry about animating them after the fact. One of the great things about Adobe Fresco is that you can have a different animation on every layer within your document. This allows me to go through and add motion to each individual layer one at a time without having to think about the overall movement for the entire composition at the beginning and plan it all out. In Fresco, there's a bunch of different ways that you can make things move, and I plan to use all of them and make this bonkers. I'm going to start simple by using some frame by frame animation to make this little burst wiggle. To do this, I'll tap on the motion button, add a frame, and then turn on onion skin so we can see the previous frame. And then all I'm going to do is trace this on two different frames. This will give us a three frame loop that will add a little vibration and add some energy to the composition. An easy way to add movement is with motion paths. I'm going to make some hearts coming out of these skull eyes. So first I'll just draw a little heart and then tap the paths option and then draw a path from the eyes to off the edge of the document. We can add multiples. We can make the hearts grow as they move and then simply draw another path from the other eye. And now we've got hearts coming out of both eyes. We only have to draw one little heart. A new feature that's coming out later this month is called motion in place. This allows you to use all the different path settings without having to have your object move along a path. So for example, we can use it to make this heart beat up and down. So we'll do this by making it grow a little bit. And there we go. We can do the same thing with these speech bubbles. We can also add a little bit of sway so it wiggles back and forth. You can also pair a frame by frame sequence with a motion path. I'm gonna make this hot dog friend whistle or kiss. I don't know what he's gonna be doing, but the mouth's gonna move a little bit. To do this, I'm gonna duplicate the drawing onto a new frame and then select the hot dog mouth and move it. I'll do this a few times until I get a motion that looks right. Now we can take the sequence and make the whole thing move by drawing a path. All right, let's morph okay into fun. First, we'll make a new frame in between the two words and make sure onion skins are turned on. I like to set this to only have one frame before and after that's visible because otherwise it can get confusing if you're seeing a whole bunch of different frames at the same time. So I'm just moving the lines a little bit and starting to curve them or straighten them where needed. Just making the letter change its shape a little bit each time and then I'll make a new frame and then use this as a new starting point and move that closer until we get to a point where we're transitioning smoothly from okay to fun. Usually three frames works well for this. So I want to make a little highlight that moves across the weird letters. We'll do this by animating within a clipping mask so that it stays within the letter forms. I'll make a new layer above the color layer and then tap the clipping mask button. Now I'll draw a little wiggle highlight and then make it into a wiggle loop by doing three frames of this. Now we can set this on a path and move it across the different letters. And because it's a clipping mask, it will not go beyond the constraints of the letter forms. Now I'll just go through all the different elements and weird things and play around with different combinations of frame by frame animation and motion paths. And that's everything. Making your illustrations move in Adobe Fresco is super easy and a ton of fun. And while you're here, check out this other playlist for a ton of other Fresco tutorials and tips. All right, good talk.